240 UCC. A boat that can roll onto land? Why not? Allow us to introduce Stabix's newest creation. While it may not navigate the shore with the utmost grace, it transforms into a high-speed vessel on the water, reaching impressive speeds comparable to top-notch motorboats, all thanks to its 300-horsepower engine. In addition to its impressive maneuverability, let's talk about what makes this amphibious boat special from the inside. There's a comfortable cockpit where you can effortlessly unwind and steer the boat. There are sleeping accommodations for at least two people, storage spaces, and numerous other enhancements to ensure a pleasant experience whether you're cruising on water or driving on shoreline. The finishing of this boat is what keeps it protected even in the toughest conditions, as it's made of materials resistant to corrosion and physical damage. Also, the boat's design adds a stylish and modern look to it, despite having a somewhat quirky yet highly practical addition in the form of wheels. Arrowwake Boats Some experienced people may argue there's nothing particularly impressive about this aquatic vehicle, yet for those witnessing Arrowwake's airboats for the first time, it's like stumbling upon a quirky, half-finished plane imitation capable of navigating both water and land. What does it take from the plane? It's simple. These vehicles move thanks to a propeller, creating a stream of air behind the watercraft to push it forward. Turns are also made using the propeller, redirecting the air column with the help of a steering wheel. The feeling of incompleteness may arise because amphibious vehicles from Arrowwake don't really have a traditional cabin. Instead, they just have a few seats without any proper covering. It's hard to see this as an advantage for water transport, especially considering how risky it looks, especially when you realize how fast these boats can move. Barge with Wheels Many people enjoy oysters, but few probably know that this delicacy can be harvested with a barge that drives onto the shore on wheels. To be fair, the barge doesn't navigate entirely on its own, it relies on another form of transportation. The wheels are just an addition that makes it possible. Nevertheless, the makers present the boat as a versatile water vehicle that can be customized in different ways. So what's stopping you from attaching everything needed for independent movement along the shore? Barges come in various sizes ranging from 20 to 40 feet. This versatility allows them to be used not just for oyster harvesting, but for a variety of tasks. The low draft also makes them suitable for shallow waters, expanding their functionality. Additionally, the boat features a sturdy aluminum hull that's 0.2 inches thick, making it capable of withstanding substantial physical damage. Navalu Amphibious Vehicle this unconventional mode of transportation might leave you scratching your head initially, but its distinctive features are the secret to its remarkable adaptability. Whether you're looking to take people on a scenic land tour or transport a variety of goods, including containers and even smaller vehicles, it's up for the task. As you can see, this is an amphibious boat measuring 36 feet in length and 10 feet in width. Thanks to its dimensions, it serves as a versatile companion both on water and on land. Apart from its size, the boat features an aluminum hull built to withstand the whims of coastal weather or the occasional rough handling by adventurous travelers. When it comes to the handling characteristics, it's important to note that this boat isn't exactly a sports car designed for speed. It's meant to move at a slower, more leisurely pace. The vessel's equipped to travel smoothly and steadily with the ability to cover long distances. It features two 11-gallon gas tanks and one similarly sized diesel tank. London Duck Tours Amphibious Vehicle among tourist buses, it's challenging to pinpoint the most absurd transport, but it seems like the boat cruising through the streets of London takes the prize for the most bizarre among the bizarre. At first glance, it's evident that the makers aim for this vehicle to be more than just a reliable mode of transportation. The boat boasts a striking yellow hue, ensuring that if you're cruising in this amphibious wonder, you'll undoubtedly be the center of attention. A vibrant yellow bus boat can accommodate over 20 passengers at once. Inside, there's not much to distract you from the views and conversations as the bus boat's equipped only with seats. This simplicity is intentional as the primary goal of the vehicle
vehicle is to drive passengers through the city's highlights and then perform its signature move, take the journey to the water. The bus smoothly enters the Thames and then glides along as if it were just a regular sightseeing boat. It moves through the water rather slowly, but that's exactly what this type of transportation is designed for. Additionally, it's made from old military amphibious vehicles which weren't known for their high speed. Riding on the amazing amphibious vehicle costs $34 for adults and $24 for children. While some might think it's a bit pricey, the experience is definitely worth the emotions it brings. If you think you've seen it all, you definitely need to experience a parade in France where city streets suddenly turn into a route for a variety of amphibious vehicles. Wheelcraft Imagine a tent that glides gracefully on water equipped with its own motor. Now that's something intriguing. It's a watercraft specially designed for fishermen, and they're sure to appreciate its features. Wheelcraft is more than just an amphibious vehicle. It can effortlessly transform into a tent with a few simple actions. This feature will be appreciated by fishing enthusiasts, providing a warm shelter from the cold and wind. The rapid deployment canopy and insulated floor work together to keep the interior dry and cozy during adverse conditions. Another reason to consider Willcraft as the perfect fishing vehicle is its ability to move swiftly and carry large loads. It's powered by a robust engine with a two-speed transmission allowing it to reach speeds of up to 20 miles per hour. The stable suspension and overall design enable it to transport heavy loads, including a plethora of caught fish or other cargo weighing up to 600 pounds. It's worth mentioning the cost-effectiveness of the Willcraft, a key factor for most anglers. This boat boasts low fuel consumption for its kind, and at a price of $10,500, it offers a budget-friendly option for those looking for a multifunctional fishing transport. Amphicar some may see it as a vintage car, while others just view it as an old vehicle. However, everyone would agree that a car from the last century cruising across the water's surface looks quite peculiar. This car can be considered rare for at least one reason. Only 3,878 units were ever made. Also, this vehicle stands out with its unique design, making it a potential collector's item that could demand a high value many years after its release. The Amphicar, with its boat-like front end and no radiator grill, possesses a distinctive charm. The trunk, gas tank, and spare tire are tucked under the hood, giving it a sleek appearance. Though dated, these characteristics undeniably set the car apart and attract collectors. While the Amphicar has been around for quite some time, it's fascinating to see it smoothly cruising on roads in videos. The car's top speed is a modest 68 miles per hour thanks to its four-cylinder engine with 38 horsepower. But what about moving on the water? The car is truly capable of floating. What's more, it doesn't even need to pick up much speed. It moves like a boat at a maximum speed of only 7 miles per hour. While this might seem slow, the Amphicar is confidently headed to its next exhibition, where it's likely to be snapped up by either a wealthy amphibious vehicle enthusiast or a collector of rare automobiles. If the Amphicar doesn't find a buyer, it could still enter a competition for amphibious vehicles. While it might not grab the top spot for technical prowess, it's sure to win the hearts of spectators. Salamander don't jump to conclusions if you think we've already shown you the most bizarre transport. Take, for instance, this vehicle that looks like a small electric car but can effortlessly drive into the water. The Salamander is designed with a dual-layer high-density polyethylene body featuring compartments that keep it effortlessly afloat. It uses a rear marine-grade propeller driven by an engine for water navigation, and the same engine enables it to move on land. The mini amphibious vehicle can be equipped with different types of engines. The initial version features a gasoline engine, while the next variant boasts a 48-volt motor with a power of 3,000 watts running on four batteries with a capacity of 90 ampere hours each. Additionally, the creators mentioned the potential for integrating a fuel blending system allowing the vehicle to run on a mix of gas and hydrogen when the option becomes available. This car can carry four passengers on water and accommodate a total of six people on land, including the driver. The great thing is, it's a multi-seater mini-amphibious vehicle. This means you can sell passenger seats 
to cover its hefty price tag, which goes up to $11,100. VP2025 When you see this vehicle, it feels like you've been deceived. It's hard to believe that an oversized toy car can be capable of moving across any terrain, including water. However, there's no trickery here. It's a fully functional off-road vehicle created back in the last century, which is why its appearance may give off a toy-like impression. This car can go anywhere thanks to its small fiberglass body that allows it to float on water. It's equipped with a 29-horsepower engine with air cooling and flat twin cylinders, enabling it to tackle mud and various obstacles along the way. With its six wheelbase, this vehicle gains extra off-road prowess. What's interesting is that the wheels on this base have the ability to spin the car in a full circle, similar to how tanks maneuver. This compact amphibious vehicle resembling a toy car is currently not available through regular channels. The only way to get your hands on this small amphibian for personal use is to find it at an auction, where the price could be quite high. Terrawind. The team at Cool Amphibious Manufacturers International thought that a luxurious mobile home is just too ordinary, so they decided to spice things up by turning it into an amphibious vehicle. By attaching pontoons, they've turned it into a vehicle that can gracefully navigate across water. To guarantee its water tightness, the entire structure of the mobile home has been made waterproof, and as a safety measure, emergency pumps are on standby in case of any unexpected flooding. The mobile home, equipped with wheels and pontoons, smoothly moves through the water thanks to propellers, achieving speeds up to 4.3 miles per hour. Certainly, cruising on water, the Terra Wind brings a lot of excitement to both passengers and onlookers ashore. However, it's important to remember that it's also a luxurious mobile home that can truly impress. Inside this bus, it's like stepping into a luxurious palace. There's a fully equipped kitchen with modern appliances, a dining area featuring a top-notch audio system, and a large TV. You'll even find a bathroom with a toilet and a jacuzzi. Of course, there's there's a cozy bedroom with a queen-size bed and a mirrored ceiling. Step out from the bedroom onto the porch, which doubles as a swimming platform when the Terra Wind is on the water. You can even attach a couple of jet skis to the bus for some extra fun. Enjoying your time on this bus seems to be a luxury reserved for those with at least $850,000 to spare, so many may opt to observe the peculiar water-traveling mobile home from a distance. Doesn't it strike you that the Terra Wind looks oddly familiar? Anyone who watched the Wild Thornberries cartoon would get it. The main characters had a similar mobile home with inflatable cushions that could easily move on water. Amphibious Motorcycle you don't need to do a lot of work to make transportation unusual. Sometimes just adding a few elements that make it an amphibious vehicle is enough. This was demonstrated on Top Gear, where they attach flotation devices to a sporty motorcycle. Positioned at a certain height from the ground, these devices allowed the bike to travel on land. Also, the motorcycle was equipped with special rotors that, when activated, not only kept it afloat, but also propelled it in the chosen direction. Despite all the quirky attachments to the motorcycle, they ultimately didn't transport transform it into a fully functional amphibious vehicle. At a certain point, it couldn't stay afloat and simply sank, leaving the rider and spectators with only entertaining memories. In this Top Gear segment, it might have been a good idea for the host to look back at the amphibious vehicles from earlier episodes. It could have made the motorcycle more capable in water. Seal Van's Amphibious Caravan the caravan seems unusual, especially since there are no similar options that would be as appealing to fans of both water and land adventures. Traveling on land is something you can't do exclusively with the Seal Vans caravan. It's designed to be towed on solid ground, so you'll need a vehicle that can transport a futuristic trailer weighing 1,650 pounds and measuring either 14 feet or 25 feet to any desired place. This place could be any body of water where the caravan transforms from an attachment into a standalone vehicle. 
Moreover, this amphibious wonder moves quite briskly on water, reaching speeds of up to 15 miles per hour, all thanks to its 50 horsepower engine or electric power system. When on solid ground, it serves as a cozy caravan, and when afloat, it becomes an independent watercraft. Yet no matter where this versatile vehicle is, the inside remains the same, boasting a bathroom complete with a shower, a functional kitchen, a primary bed, and an additional sleeping space. In essence, it's fully equipped for any journey. The cost of the amphibious vehicle is quite significant, with a price tag of $30,500 for the 14-foot version and $63,800 for the 25-foot version. Looks like making the dreams of many travelers come true won't be cheap.